there may be an impending first iPhone size increase in the last five years. A fresh leaked picture reveals the increased sizes of the iPhone 16 Pro and iPhone 16 Pro Max, which is one of the most anticipated updates for the iPhone 16. We believe that the four models, the normal iPhone 16, iPhone 16 Plus, iPhone 16 Pro, and iPhone 16 Pro Max, that Apple is expected to release later this year are shown in the picture that leaker Sonny Dixon shared. Plus, all of these phone sizes have been neatly drawn above one another. The iPhone 15 devices that the iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Plus are replacing are the same size as the basic variants. However, the iPhone 16 Pro seems to be rising 0.2 inches from the 6.1 inch size of the iPhone 15 Pro to 6.3 inches. Thus, the iPhone 16 Pro Max's screen size increases to 6.9 inches from 6.7 inches on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Although Apple has added the action button and dynamic island notch to the iPhone's exterior over the years, this size increase for the iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max would be the largest physical body change since the iPhone 12 series, which established the 6.1-inch and 6.7-inch sizes. The idea of the greatest iPhones of the year being even bigger is sure to make users of smaller phones cringe with annoyance. Although the iPhone 16 Pro and iPhone 16 Pro Max's bigger bodies may make Apple significantly harder for them to fit in certain pockets and bags, there will also be benefits. The 5X telephoto camera, which is now exclusive to the iPhone 15 Pro Max, may be able to be included in the iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max thanks to the bigger chassis, it seems. Both the purported 48MP ultrawide camera sensor upgrade and the purported battery size increase depend on these phones having extra internal space to fit more or bigger components. Our corresponding playlists have a ton of more rumors on the iPhone 16, iPhone 16 Pro, and iPhone 16 Pro Max. That being said, Apple's official announcement about the iPhone 16 sizes will be the only way we really know what's going on. This most likely will occur within the company's customary September iPhone launch timeframe. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? So without being said let me know your thought in the comment below and if you are new here please subscribe peace out.